Hi class, this is my week one uh, scenario discussion post for MPA 520. So um, one of the emergency scenarios that I picked was an earthquake um, and how it can affect um, leadership and why ne leadership is uh, is needed in uh, an emergency situation such as an earthquake. Um, so for this situation, um, there was four things that um, are recommended is preparedness, response, recovery, and mitigation. And um, the people and services impacted. So for where I'm currently working, the people impacted would be anywhere from like 80 to 90 just depending on the day of the week. Um, if it's a day where shifts are overlapping, then it's um, could be over 100, 20, 130 people. Um, and um, the biggest factor when it comes to the people impacted is that the, they need a leadership presence. Um, someone has to be there to make sure everyone's accounted for. If they're not, someone has to be, um, ready to contact those emergency services and um, just kind of be able to guide people to the uh, emergency exits and um, just assist with things like that. So there definitely has to be a leadership presence. And event and aftermath. So the actual event is um, typically pretty quick for an earthquake. Um, sometimes there's aftershocks, which can be even more uh, damaging than the initial earthquake. And um, but typically minor earthquakes only last, you know, one to a few minutes. And um, the same can go for an aftermath and um, or an aftershock. And the aftermath is like in the picture, you have to deal with if, if it's a very severe earthquake is you have to deal with uh, structural damages and, um, you know, emergency services, medical services, um, if people were injured in the earthquake. Um, so the leadership presence is definitely needed. And um, it's a situation where you know, it, it calls for immediate response and, and that strong leadership to um, to be able to bring people to safety out of this, um, you know, natural disaster.